Okay, so here's the new 2010 CompStick bar, and this bar basically has um, six features that combine all together in one bar that other bars might have uh, one or two or multiple of them, but they don't have all six. And uh, these features include below the bar trim, the active stopper ball, an auto orienting chicken loop, uh, the center safety system, 100% uh, spinnable leash, which is due to the swivel being up top, and a small compact design so you can get your hands nice and close. Um, to note different from last year, what we've done is we've used uh, a different set of lines. We have a, a a fat side of the line and a skinny side of the line and basically that's so we have a little bit more beef in the static side and we have um, ease of trim on the trim side and the active stopper ball uh, comes down and there's a stop right at the bottom of it right here the lines that are a little bit thicker and that goes down right there and the active ball, stopper ball will stop right there and that's so you can still release the safety system like that and to reset the safety system um, what you want to do is just put the ring over the pin lift it up grab it grab the uh, housing like that with right there um, put your thumb on the pin push up the release push the pin in and slide it back over and a good thing about um, this system right now it's set up for uh, right-handed trim with your with your leash uh, attachment point on the bottom so it's out of the way um, but you can also set it up for left-handed trim and in the event you want left-handed trim you can move uh, this the safety line from this side uh, to the other side by taking the assembly apart rerouting the line and um, reattaching the, the ring. So, um, Also something to note right out of the box is that you will need a, a break in session to get the parts working right out of the box. The, the stopper ball is a little sticky and the lines need just a little, little stretch and wear. Um, so it's a good idea right before the session just to, just to take it, stretch it out and just uh, work your active stopper ball up and down just a few times just to make sure that uh, your line becomes nice and, uh, and smooth so your active stopper ball works easily and that will also affect your trim uh, if you try to trim before you do that it's going to be it's going to be a bit sticky so but once you do that then everything's broken in and uh, the trim will be the trim will be really easy and you're good to go um, Another thing to note is that if you, in the event you need to change your chicken loop line, um, you just it's pretty easy and simple. Um, you just take the bungee off, slide it over everything. Now you can release this, push it up, and from here you can basically dig that out with uh, a screwdriver and pull it out. Go back in with uh, a, a little string, and there's a couple tools you need to change the other side which is a screwdriver and an Allen key here. So, I guess that's it. What else is there? Pulley. Pulley. And so what makes a lot of this system possible is this new part up here, the swivel here. Um, what makes it 100% spinnable uh, is that the safety line runs through the swivel here. And what makes uh, the trim so easy is due to the pulley here. So there's no, there's hardly any resistance because there's a pulley there. And the second reason is because of our mini cleat here. The mini cleat holds on really hard, but it's, it's a cinch to get out.
up for a right-handed trim with the safety line on the bottom so it's out of the way. If you want to switch around to the left-hand side and keep this out of the way, you need to reroute the line. And it's really simple to do. You just take the bungee off, slide it over the donkey dick, and the ring. And now you can push this up and away. And you can flip it over. Undo this. Pull it out. Reroute it to the other side. Reattach the ring. And then put the release handle back on. And then once you're there, then you want to reattach the bungee. Putting it over the donkey dick. Putting it over the leash. And then just make sure the bungee rests in a nice position there and there, around there. And then also, you want to reattach your safety. And just as a good measure, when you're done, just make sure everything flows nicely down from the ring all the way up through the bar, through the stopper ball, through the swivel. And if that's all in line and your safety bungee isn't wrapped around any line, then you're good to go. And now we have it set up for left-handed trim with your safety on the bottom side. So here's the comp six swivel, and the way these lines attach, just for your information, is they both terminate right here, and this flying line is hooked up to your CSS bungee, and this flying line is hooked up to a terminating pigtail. And if you need to change lines, or if you need to um, convert it to a five line bar, then basically you'd just take this apart here and pull it out. And now to put this back in, you just need a little string to help you through. That'll go through the hole there. Pull it through. Take the string out. And then reattach the pigtail. So that'll go through the pigtail. And then you put the pigtail through the loop. Pull it tight, and it's back in. Okay. And if you wanted to, if you need to replace the uh, other line that's attached to the CSS bungee, then what you need to do is remove the ring from the bungee, let the bungee slide up through here. You would Pull this down, undo the large head, take the bungee off, and then pull pull the line out. 